What's up, nerds on the Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Poke Rogue Road to 1000. We are in a good spot. Like, are we in a great spot? I don't know, but we're in a good spot because we got our Kyogre. And I mean, this Pokemon so far has been pretty good, let's just say it like that. Pretty damn good, especially since its defense and all are quite good. A bunch of HP, and so overall, we are... we're looking good. Um, just gonna mow this thing down with our Mega Galate. We are at wave 201. Let's see if we can get to 300 today. That would be nice. And if not, how fast we can get. Uh, do we want... nah. Do we wanna start and reroll? Yes, every now and then we're gonna reroll. Do we even have candy chars? One. That's a little bit. By noon, we're gonna stay in, we're gonna just close combat, all these normal types, we don't care. We're just gonna mow down. By the way, facecam is back again, hi. <laughs> Mostly because today it's pretty overcast. Wait, is overcast cloudy? No, cloudy is cloudy. I have no idea. I have no idea if overcast is what I want. Eh, it's whatever, it's cloudy. We lose each Pokemon, no, we're gonna stay in, and I think we're just gonna close combat, right? Mega Gallade should do quite a lot of damage, no matter what. Yeah, sure. Let's max out our EXP alls. We're gonna stay in, we're gonna close combat. But I think sooner or later we will switch out to Kyogre. Do you know what? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's go with an Egg Voucher. Especially since I don't know, do we have anything here? No. Oh, Lugia is the current legendary. I don't have Lugia. But I should have at least one legendary egg, one epic egg, and then a bunch of others. So in case this is the first episode of this that you're watching for some reason, this is Road to 1000 where I'm just kind of documenting, documenting. Wait. Are we adamant here? Careful. I mean, we could go adamant, right? We should go adamant. I'm documenting my road, my way to 1000 floors. There are no PP left. That sucks if there's no PP. I always should leave anything that the guy does, right? Wheel, wheel, wheel. I think water pools should be enough. Interesting. It wasn't. And it didn't even go down to sturdy, it seems. So, I overestimated Kyogre there, but... I mean, does it really matter? I don't think it does. We lost quite a bit of healing, so... 200 HP or 50% HP. Uh, is it 50% of current or max HP? I think it's current, right? So let's just go for a max potion. Get a nugget. Ooh. Here we're definitely gonna stay in it. We're gonna water spout. And then we're pro... And we're probably gonna psycho cut. But I mean, that should kill both of them. Why not? So yeah, um, my roads to 1000 basically. Members get to see this as soon as I upload it, and everyone who is not a member will still see it once a week. Just, yeah, not at the upload date. This, for example, gets uploaded on a Tuesday and will go live on a Wednesday. So you would basically, as a member, you would see it a day before. Sometimes, like if I record another one of these today, then you would get one a day before and the second one a week and a day before. So there is an incentive for people to become members, but I don't want anyone to feel pressured to become a member just to see this, because like I said, you will see it anyway. It will go up, it will go live anyway. I don't want to put a paywall behind, uh, or put my content behind paywalls. Also, first of all, there's going to be quite a bit of egg hatching now. Another thing that I want to say, you should subscribe. Why should you subscribe? Because we're currently at around 1,200 subscribers. And I want to see if we can get to 1,500 subscribers by the end of the year. I think that is possible, even though half of the year is already... Half of the year is already done. It's already gone by. 
But yeah, I think we can do it. I think we can go about 300 more subscribers by the end of the year, if you help. Uh, we will switch because this Toxicroak might have dry skin. And I mean, a sharpness, psycho cut, or whatever it's called. Should definitely do the trick. Accuracy. I mean, we could go for the lure just to get double battles, but I don't really feel like it. I don't feel like that's necessary. I just want to go through and, I mean, currently we are just... We are running through after I... What was it? What were we for now? Run five. And the first four runs... I'm not gonna say they didn't go anywhere because they, they did, but they didn't go anywhere. <laughs> they were pretty damn bad. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's try this because I seem to have never... How does that thing intimidate me every round? I don't know. But I just caught it because I never seem to have caught a Mighty Anna. Of course I had uh, Poochie Annas, like from eggs and such. Oh shit! I totally forgot that that's a thing! And now we got Primal Kyogre. Holy shit! I don't remember, like, I don't know how exactly that changes things. I would assume it increases its stats. Maybe just health-wise or whatever. But it should increase its stats and just now we have a Primal Kyogre. And I mean, let's face it. Kyogre alone is incredible. So Primal Kyogre probably even more incredible. Here we're gonna go for Psycho Cut and we're gonna go for Water Spout. Even if they are grass types, that does not matter. Plus, thanks to the Carbos and such, we are faster. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm faster than the Mega Galate, which is nice. Oh, Egg Voucher Plus, yes please. I want another Legendary Egg. Will I switch Pokemon? Nah. But, we definitely wanna pull more eggs. Nothing. I mean, it's not like I expect to get a legendary very soon, right? But one can hope. A man can wish. PP up. Water spout is done. Water pulls. Let's go with ice beam. Ice beam is also full. I mean, I mind. We don't really need any of these. We could just go for close combat. Switch Pokemon. Nah, let's stay in a close combat. Triple Axel would also have done the trick. Just anything but Psycho Cut. Blast, Nugget, Rare Candy. I think we're gonna go for Nugget. I really want... Let's see. Yeah, I'm right. I really want Rare Candies, but they really only help you once you are... Once you are, like, around... Uh, 15, 10 to 15 candy jars. Because otherwise, just one level, two levels, they don't do shit. Because you, you reach, you get two more levels after every single fight with the XP charms. So I just want more and more candy jars. And then once we have like over 10, then we're gonna definitely take candy jar, uh, rare candies. In another run that's been going for a while, a basically private run, my personal private run. Ooh, higher chance of finding shinies. In another run, I think I have currently 39, 38 or 39 candy jars. So every single rare candy actually does something. And I can keep my main Pokemon well over, uh, well over level, over the level cap. Let's go with X special defense. It's not like we need it right now, but it's a good thing to have. And I mean, right now we are level 235. If we gain... Yes, please! Like, if we can gain one level, that's basically nothing, right? So, in my opinion, just... It, it's not a mistake to go for rare candies. 
but just in the beginning it really i mean in the very beginning it helps because if you are a level six or a level seven there's a pretty big difference even if like one or two stat points don't really seem like much but they are in the beginning they are if you're like level 20 or 21 there's no big difference okay i want too bad Kyogre with Grassic Light would have been fun. Like, definitely would have been fun. Okay, we started. We're gonna Water Spout. And Triple Axle in case Water Spout doesn't kill, which it does. Because, I mean, let's face it, it's a Primal Kyogre. I wanna look at Primal Kyogre's stats. Oh, ah, I was hoping. I was hoping for at least... Oh yeah, it's a boy! The cactus! I was hoping for at least the epic one, if not the legendary, but that's probably gonna take a little bit longer. Okay, check team. Primal Kyogre. Summary. Damn. That's a lot of special attack. That's a lot of special defense. And that's still decent defense. Like, I mean, it's not amazing in any way, shape, or form, but I mean... 631 speed. Damn, Kyogre is amazing. The road shop. Anti power and prevents sound moves, which it's partially implemented so it only deals damage in this case. We could teach it to Galate for more. You know? What's the word I'm looking for? If you have attacks against specific Pokemon, coverage, coverage, that's it. I could have taken it for coverage, but yeah. Uh, special attack, don't mind if I do. Our special attack should be over 1000 now. Or close to, no wait, it was 909, I think. Let's check. Oh no, yes, we are at 1008. Damn. Uh, I don't care for the IV scanner. Like, I really don't. I mostly just catch Pokemon that I either haven't caught or where I think they might be interesting just to catch for candy reasons. But I don't care about the IVs. Then sooner or later, I'm gonna get them anyway. Uh, I mean, let's just go for more egg vouchers. It's not the best thing, but I mean, it works. Okay, would Water Spout kill? Yeah, yep, yep, it would. Why did I? Why did I even think otherwise? I really want the Golden Punch with Kyogre. Just getting money for dealing damage. Uh, I think we only have one ticket. Yeah. Usually not. Like, I won't just go into the Egg Gacha for just one ticket. I am just accumulating them, getting more and more. Then go for it. Knock off only partially implemented though the thing is I think what's not implemented is that it actually knocks off an item but it will deal more damage if the enemy has an item or at least that's how I heard that it was in and since I don't know let's not go for it. Oh ground types Oh no, whatever shall I do with my primal Kyogre? Who's flooding everything? By the way, I said I wanted to go for... You know what? Let's just go for Egg Vouchers. Let's go for Egg Vouchers and once we have many, we're gonna go into the Egg Gacha again. I said I wanted to go to 300. To floor 300. The thing is, we basically only started like 15 minutes ago not even 15 minutes ago and we're already a third in we're already uh 234 so yeah 300 will be all the weight is 250 a special floor if you know what i mean i think it is i think it is so do we have a grip claw no we don't something uh, i don't care for terror orbs i really don't Ooh. Egg Voucher Plus. I mean, sure. Like I said, we're gonna accumulate a 
with more egg vouchers, there is a chance that if floor 250 is what I think it is, that we'll get more egg vouchers. More of them! Uh, can't get any more citrus berries, so let's just go for eggs defense. We need to pick up mod, by the way. I don't think we do. Water spot kills? Spot kills. <laughs> Why did I ask? Ooh, big nugget. No, we're gonna go with HP up. Like, as bulky as we are, we just want more. And now I just wanna check. I mean, I would have just. I would have just um, refreshed if I. If I got rid of any Pokemon, I would have just refreshed. Gyarados with a few items. Oh, we can now take the Soul Dew away because now we have a uh, we have a great nature on Mega Galade. So yeah. Okay. Just checking for some items that could be useful for more important Pokemon like Kyogre. But we're gonna definitely transfer the Soul Dew to Mega Galade. Which, yeah, gets our attack from, I think, 1008 to 196. That is decent. I would say that's pretty decent. I kind of want something like Shadow Ball on Kyogre. Like, just anything that's not water or ice. Although, like, with water and ice, we're still, we're good. Is there anything... Like, I know water resists water, but we saw how that works, right? Against the fur alligator. Uh, same with... Same with... Uh, <clears throat> what else resists water? I mean, dragon type. Dragons resist water. And then there's... Grass, right? Grass should also resist water, I think. Okay, one more try, and if that doesn't work, then... Okay, it worked. Great. We're not gonna take it with us. We could have taken it with us. Ooh. Ooh, Melton. That's actually quite nice. As far as I know, that thing goes crazy. Like, Melmetal is incredibly powerful. Nice, I'll take it. Pulls that water. It's sturdy, but of course it's on destructs. I sh like. Why did I even? Why did I even attack? Could have just called mine for later, or I could have just switched into Drift Blim. I could have done a few things. Same here. It could have. Yeah. Will it explode? No. Went for Stone Edge. Didn't hit, but it went for it. The shell bell restores our health a little bit. You know what? Let's farm more egg vouchers. I know that the big nugget in the long run would have done more for us, but just I'm just I'm collecting egg vouchers. And we're gonna go for small nuggets because why not? You know what? Water spot doesn't. No, it has dry skin. It does matter. Then I speed. Doesn't matter. Come on, just get out of the way. Alright, and we're just gonna you know what? Let's heal Kyogre for a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Would you look at that? A Gyarados. Thunder would also be fun. But I think yeah, water spout in the rain is just it just doesn't matter, right? It's just that easy. I should actually I should actually start a classic run with Kyogre because I mean easy money. Or rather easy Easy vouchers. Let's just go for water spout. Just in case. I mean, should have done it later on, but whatever. 
Iron, increased base defense. Sure. Water spawn. Does it kill a... I mean, that was a, that was a stupid question. There are probably some water types that wouldn't die to this, but... Are there really? Like... <laughs> ah, sure, let's go with a nugget. Toxic I mean... If it has dry skin, let's try an ice beam. It's frozen solid. Nice. Let's catch it. Why not? Doesn't cost us much. Could have taken it with us. But basically, I... Yeah, there it is. There it is. I don't want to switch Pokemon. It doesn't have a mini black hole in this fight, which is great. We don't have anything that could steal stuff from it, so that sucks. You know what? We're just gonna calm mine. Because our special defense is not enough for an Eternity. Shit! Uh, yeah. We got... No, we don't. I don't have... Uh... What are they called? Leech Seed. Okay, we're gonna switch out. For the... Oh, it's a Sludge Bomb, not the Eterna Beam. Interesting. It missed its Eterna Beam. Nice. Drift Blim for the first time actually useful? Question mark? Not clickbait? And I mean a Psycho Cut? Perfective? Sharpness? Yeah. I mean, Kyogre could have killed it, right? We could have... We could have used... Calm Mind earlier, we could have started with uh, Ice Beams that probably, I mean, would they have done a whole lot? I don't know. But hey, we live, we don't care. Just kill him. <laughs> yeah, we're not even half an hour in, so we're definitely gonna get to 300. So yeah, every 250 floors, Eternatus comes out. And I think every 1,000 floors, it's Eternatus G-Max or E-Max or whatever. And that thing has the black hole. That thing is the worst. Like, you need stuff like Curing Salt, like Leech Seed, just any type of residual damage. And just get all of your good items away from your carry. It's so stupid. Do you have water absorb? No, you don't. That's great. Another egg voucher, which tells me, oh yeah, I wanted to go to the egg voucher because now we got a, quite a few things. A Manaphy egg, which probably will have a Fion and not a Manaphy in it. Not a common one. Come on, give me a legend. Give me a legendary. Nope, not a single one. Not one, I mean, sure, you can't expect to, uh, to get one often, right? Okay, I'm curious. What about kills, right? I, why, why do I even go for Ice Beam? I mean, yes, Water Spout is quad resistant here. But it's a Water Spout in the rain by a Kyogre. Like, duh. <laughs> There's not really much that can live that. Look at Jellicent. Like I said, a Shadow Ball or something would be nice. Boom. Oh, Water Absorb. And you also have Water Spout. That's cute. That sucks. I mean, what I could do is calm mine up. But I think I'd much rather just switch out into the late. And... I mean, we don't really have anything super effective. But who cares if you're just very strong <laughs> like that's the thing I always feel like yeah but my secondary Pokemon are not that strong but they're strong enough like 
It's a freaking Galate with uh, Mega Galate, by the way, with over 1,000 damage, right? With over 1,000 attack, I mean. Don Dozo actually lives the water spout because it's a fat mother. You know, it's fat in the best sense, tanky sense. I love tanks. Whenever possible, I play tanks in games. Ooh, Onich. Great for him. With Tachyon Cutter. Tachyon, Tachyon Cutter. Uh, Leech Seed. We find it. I, I knew there was something that I was missing. <laughs> but yeah, now we got Leech Seed. With that... Technically, Water Spout. With that, the Eternatus would have been even easier. But I mean, it, it, we still... We still beat it pretty well. Was it a good fight? Nah. Oh, we won, so that's okay. By the way, I don't know if it shows, but I'm in a weird mood today. Mostly good, like pretty good. Something really good happened that I was kind of uh, nervous about. Something in private life and everything's fine, don't worry, nothing. Like, good things happen. And so I just wanted to... I just wanted to, you know? Could go for Stone Edge. Ah, pretty wanna. Golden Punch on Primal Kyogre. So yeah, there, there, there's a lot of uh, positive energy now that I needed to put out. So here I am. Gonna Psycho Cut here, but first Water Spout that should kill. I didn't look. I I saw that our uh, money changed, but I didn't. Didn't look how much. Big nugget, sure. Okay, 159.092. Switch, yes. 159. 401. So that's almost 400. That was almost 400 gold money, poke dollars. Just for one attack. That's not bad. Could be better, will be better. Later on, it will be so much better. Don't worry about that. A Sea King. Sea King, what? <laughs> Wait, that was multi scale. If I remember correctly, multi scale is uh, Dragonite's ability, where if you're full health, the first hit that you take only deals half damage. And we took three out of four parts of the health bar. So technically it would have done six parts of the health bar. Like, holy shit. That's shalom. Okay. Um, let's see. That was money. And triple X that kills. Alright, Impish, what's that again? Defense minus special attack. I don't... I really don't care, like, seriously, anything that does not increase any kind of offensive stat, like attack, special attack, and speed, I would count speed as, a, as an offensive stat. Any other thing doesn't really matter. Like, I don't mind uh, a nature that increases special defense. I really don't, because Eternatus special, special attacker. But like, you know, not that useful, not that useful. Oh, give me, give me some. I know all of these were in the, in the legendary egg machine, but that doesn't mean that we don't, that, that we can't get a shiny. So just give me a shiny. One, no matter what, I would have taken a plus little shiny. I mean, I wouldn't be very happy about it, but I would have taken it. Plus special attack, minus special defense. What are you again? Nothing. I mean, that would increase our special attack. And our special defense is high. Yeah, but I don't want to, I don't want to get rid of our special defense is the thing. Because that's something that you can do with a 
very speedy mon. And I mean, don't get me wrong, Kyogre is very speedy. Kyogre is so cool. <laughs> like, it's my favorite legendary. I think I said that before. But it doesn't feel speedy enough that I would actually uh, consider it. Let's go with the nuggets. I mean, do we have amulet coins? We don't have a single amulet coin, interestingly enough. Okay, I just want to see... How much does a water pulse do? Not a whole lot, but we confused it. Eh, damn it. It confused us. Okay, some Pokemon just... Or is Intimidate bugged currently, because it intimidated... Yeah, Intimidate Pokemon intimidate us every single turn, it seems. That's not supposed to happen. That would be way too powerful. Seems like something is bugged there. Okay, water spout because that will kill. Clothes are not very, uh, not very thick Pokemon, so possibly even, uh, you know, the other water type attack that we have. Plus speed, mind special defense. Nah. Water pulse. That's a, oh yes, twenty percent increased water type damage. Is our second one. Oh yeah, my um. In my other, in my personal run, basically, the main carry is Sasha, with uh, the maximum amount of grip claws, the maximum amount of wide lenses, stuff like that. So pretty much everything we do just steals. And I recently, more or less recently, fought Eternatus, and I stole stuff because the fight was very long. And Eternatus has a whole bunch of Dragon Fangs. And the problem is, my Eternatus does not have a single Dragon Attack, but it currently, I think, has 36 Dragon Fangs. So now I basically keep my eyes open to see if I find a Pokémon with a... like, a good Pokémon that I can take with me with a Dragon-type attack. Just so that I can use all those Dragon Fangs. Like, even if it's just Dragon Claw or whatever, that would just decimate enemies like crazy. Give me something, give me something good. Oh, Rotom! It's a fridge! It's a dead fridge, but it's a fridge! I like Rotom Fridge. Like, as far as I know, it's not a very good Pokémon, competitive-wise, but it's just, it's a fridge, you know? That's pretty cool. Get it? Pretty cool! <clears throat> it's a Mammal Swine. I love Mammal Swine. Like, I was skeptical when it first came out in Generation 4. I was very skeptical of pretty much all of the evolutions of previous Pokémon. Because it, at the beginning it felt like, why? But then, Roserade as well. But I like, I like all of them now. Every single one. And Mammal Swine is just so cool. I mean, most of them, it just makes sense that they have a, an evolution, right? Okay, I mean, that thing just goes down even without the X special attack, but we do have two X special attacks, so... It goes down even... even easier. We got three X special attack. <laughs> it should kill through the protect. Like, the amount of damage that we technically do we just go, just break the protect, right? Break the protect and kill the next three Pokemon, I would say. I mean, you know... Not bad items, don't get me wrong, but I just don't think that I want right now. Oh no, don't intimidate me, whatever shall I... You know? Very mushroom, nah. Just go for more nuggets. I want as much money as possible so that sooner or later I can start re-rolling, especially when we get lock capsule. But to actually have a better chance of getting the lock capsule. Ooh. 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 No, we have 23 of those. Let's increase Mega Galate even more. It's a cherim! We're gonna water pulse. Ice beam probably would have killed. Oh. But as we know, just why go for anything else if we got Water Pulse or the other thing? I... <laughs> What's it called again? It's not Brian. 
it's water spout. Water spout, that's it. <laughs> I've talked about these things in this episode, like in the past 34 minutes. 35 minutes. And I forgot about it. What? Why is... Why is... What? Is the church bell ringing now? Like, every now and then I get, I get surprised when it uh, inevitably rings at 7pm. Because I just did not realize that it was already 7pm. But currently it's four, 47 minutes past 5. Yeah, like, what? What are we doing? <gasps> yes, Scrip Claw, we can start stealing stuff. In the game. YouTube, it's in the game. <laughs> Do not demonetize me. I know they make it rain. Who cares? I make you die? In the game. <laughs> Yes, things are going swimmingly. <laughs> I don't want to jinx anything, but I do have a good feeling about our Kyo a Kyogre run. Like, I really do. It's such a strong Pokemon. It's incredible. I mean, technically, we, we, we had a Mewtwo run, right? And Mewtwo is an incredible Pokemon. One of, one of the best for classic mode. But for some reason, I mean, the reason being me, it didn't work out. Let's go with another X special attack. Just to be sure that we kill everything. Like, I, as far as I know, Sigilyph has decent, decent defense, right? Like, both defenses. Who could Bulldoze? I mean, a Bulldoze in Kyogre would... Uh, Kyogre would be fun, don't get me wrong. I, I like the idea of just... This huge primal orca bulldozing. But oh yeah, sure. Let's let's outspeed everything. We already outspeed everything, but let's outspeed stuff even more. But yeah, our our regular attack, not great. Like still decent, because we're a Kyogre. But yeah. <laughs> I mean hyper beam Kyogre might actually be fun. 150 power. There's probably some... Uh, some... I don't know... Instances. Some instances where that would be very, very useful. Like to just have one incredibly strong attack. Ask for it. Didn't really do much for us. Uh, one really strong attack. Even if you can't move afterwards. But then again, it's... What was it? 150, right? Ah, damn it. Yeah, screw it. Let's go for Nugget again. It's 150. Water Spot is also 150. Has a better accuracy. And we can move afterwards. Plus it gets stab bonus. Plus it gets increased by the rain. So why would we ever go for Hyper Beam? Because there's not a single Pokemon... I mean, wait... There are Pokemon that are immune to some of our things. You know what? Screw it. Let's just PP next. Oh, what a bitch. Why not? Pokemon with dry skin and uh, storm drain. They are immune to water attacks. So technically against those. But for those we have Ice Beam. Even if it doesn't one-shot kill, it's just too good anyway. Also... Oh, you're... You're faster? I mean, you're dead, but also faster. That's interesting. We're close to 300, so this episode... <gasps> give me good, give me good, give me good. I mean... You know... I should be happier about it. I should be. But this is my fourth Sashian. Yes, I am pretty much boasting at this point. And since I have my my endless run with Sashian to earn candy, I already unlocked this passive. And I think I... Did I fully make it cheaper? I think I did. So it really does nothing for me 
to get Sashians out of eggs. And Lucas, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I would love to give the Sashian to you. I would love to give it to you. But the game doesn't let me. It's not my fault. Which one was the, like, 80 power fairy move? Not this other words. There's the gleam, right? Yeah, I think it was. I mean, I saw, I saw Whirlpool as a TM there. Whirlpool on Kyogre. Against Eternatus. Might actually not be the worst idea. I mean, I'm not gonna do it, but technically? Residual damage, plus we, it's a... I think it's a special attack, right? Not a strong one. Ooh. I mean, sure. I'm, I'm not gonna do it, but you know, you know what I mean. It wouldn't be the, hmm. it wouldn't be the worst. Okay, epic. Usually, usually, and that can't be like a rule, but usually, I when I get an epic. It's not too long after that I either get a second epic or a legendary. Usually. Poison Jab on Galate? I mean, we, we basically never click Sword Stance anyway, right? Shoppler raises our attack. That, I mean, I can always reteach it, it's not no big deal. But basically Galate e or Mega Galate is not very bulky. It's it's quite frail. So like we could never be like sword stands in front of let's say Eternatus. I mean we could do it once. And that's it. <laughs> but uh, okay, that's a water absorb. If only we had hyper beam <laughs> Yeah we're gonna switch out. Really see how much that does. I mean, we took that way better than I thought. And with our sharpness boosted Psycho Cut, healing a lot of damage. A lot of damage. You know, now that th this is, by the way, my the second video that I'm recording today, not of uh, not of Poker Rope, but just in general. And I said before that. The positive energy needs to get out, and it seems like slowly it's used up, and I'm getting tired. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna don't worry. This the rest of it. I mean, we're basically farming eggs here, right? I, I didn't kill. I, once again, I should have gone for water, like water spout. Even water holes would have done. But I didn't, because I saw, ooh, it's a, ooh, nice, it's a ground type, and so it will be super effective to you, yeah, you know what I mean. Ooh, gouging fire. Dead gouging fire? No, whoa. I actually took it quite well, I mean, it doesn't take a second one, but it took it quite well. Gouging fire, also Pokemon, like, when they revealed it, I was like, what the heck is that? It's cool. Like, my favorite out of the three, I think, yeah, it's, it's, uh, like, Walking Wake is definitely my favorite of the trio in Paradox form. Walking Wake is so cool. It's a, it's a freaking dinosaur, right? And I think the second one is Raging Bolt. And then whatever the anti thing that we just fought, that I just talked about, is... What's it called again? It's, it's incredible how easy and how fast I can forget stuff. Gouging fire. And it's feel. I would like one man of you, please. You know, just one. Gouging fire. Right, yeah. That's my number three. Although, it's a very close. Uh, like, two and three are very close. I like all three of them. And I like all three of the of the original trio. There is a fly flying around. I mean... Earthquake. 
100 power move. Nah. Screw it. Surf, though. Instead of water pulse, maybe? Water pulse may confuse the target and has more PP. And surf hits. You know what? Screw it. Definitely. Definitely gonna go for surf. It's 50% strong. Plus, it has no animation. <laughs> Which is so weird. Oh? Regular X? Oh? By the way, one thing that I. that I noticed a few times. Which is incredibly weird. Uh, when I play this game on my own, I usually turn off the music. And currently, to do that, I just use the uh, mute mute tab function. But usually, beforehand, I would have just went into the settings menu and put master volume down to zero. Right? And then there is zero output, there is no music coming out, no sound effects, nothing. But when I would hatch multiple eggs, oh my goodness, we got the mini black hole. So now, every now and then, we actually gotta just gotta stay, gotta gotta see to it that we keep the fights going. And we got a lumberry. And we got an apricot or apricot berry, some some kind of berry. Awesome. But yeah, um, if I were, if I put everything like master volume on zero and no sound would come out, and then I would hatch multiple eggs, I mean like 10 or above, I would just hold the A button just to get things going. And after like the fourth or the fifth egg, when the, basically the, the jingle would play the da -da -da -da, usually, but I put it on zero so nothing comes out. The last two or three notes of that, I would hear. That's so weird. Like, I don't even know if I put it, uh, if I could have could get it across what I what I mean. But just even though everything was on zero and there shouldn't have been any sound, after a few eggs, every single egg would still play like two or three notes. That that was that's so weird. I don't know if it still is. I've like I said, I've switched to just. You know what? Let's steal a few things. Black belt. Nice. We can give that to... Again, not Barry. We can give that to... Um, Mega Galade. We got a Lumberry. <laughs> the black hole is just... It's so bad. Like, it's it's so overpowered. It's incredible. Enigma Berry. Do you have... It, it, it has a lucky egg. I kind of want that. Like Chiberi, but I should actually start attacking, right? One more time. Can I steal anything? Lucky egg, there we have it. Now we can attack. It's so stupid. Can that thing have dry skin? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't have it. But maybe it can. I think we're gonna keep the. You get so many egg vouchers! Ooh! You know what? Screw it. Probably should have kept the Master Ball for a possible legendary. But just. Whimsicott. Ah, but. Nah, screw it. We will get other things to help with Eternatus. Possibly a shiny Whimsicott, that would be the dream. Or a shiny Garganacle, which I already have, which is great. I mean, it has a silk, silk scarf and it has a lucky egg, but I mean, just, we're not gonna, we're not gonna wait till we steal stuff, right? More egg vouchers. I kind of love this run currently. Also, ten more minutes. I think we can go to three hundred. Can we get to three hundred fifty? That would be a bit much, right? Could we? Thirty-five power and bad accuracy. It would be fun to have growth, don't get me wrong, but I just don't have any attack that I should get rid of with Kyogre, right? Egg gotcha. 
we're gonna stick around here till we get one legendary. I always do that when I don't have the current legendary. I just pull so many eggs. I pull eggs until I get one legendary egg. It's not guaranteed that it's the Pokemon that's on the machine, but it's a higher chance. And so far I've been, I think, very, very... Wait, is it Rex? Kyogre can't learn Dragon Balls. That sucks. I mean, of course, why would it? But then again, it's a Kyogre. So, why wouldn't it? But I think most of the time, when I got a Legendary Egg from the Legendary Up Machine, it was usually, I would say, I would say I would have at least an 80% chance or more that it was the one. Uh, let's... Waterfall. And right now the uh what's it called? Which one did we get? Which legendary did I just get? Zashia! Instead of the I got the egg when the featured legendary was a Miraidon. I did not get the Maridon, which sucks. I would have loved to get a Maridon. We got another berry. I didn't read which one it was. We're stealing so much stuff. I love it. And it's only one black hole and one uh, grip claw. We can get so much more. Alright, now we're gonna switch and not use Surf, because otherwise our Galade would suffer. We're just gonna Water Spout and just, you know. Get rid of him. Also, what I really want are some splicers, some DNA splicers. I kind of was hoping that this would go into a uh, Ultra Ball and then into a Rogue Ball and then into a Master Ball, but that's maybe a bit... Would have been a bit much, right? All right. Water spot, where are we? 52 minutes. You know what? 307. Nah, 325. Wave 325 sounds like a good stopping point, I feel like. Right? So, eight more waves. That's then close to an hour. With a big nugget. A Cleavor! I mean. Let's be honest, what is a cleaver going to do to my Kyogre? The answer is nothing. Get caught, scrub. Does cleaver count as a as a starter in this, in this game? Because, I mean, it has a pre-evolution, but in a different generation, right? If so, I already had a cleaver. I did not know that. Boy bat with something I did not read fast enough. Ooh, Cyclops are nice. That's probably a pretty good Pokemon to start a run with. Like I don't think it's a good. Ooh, yes, candy jars. I don't think it's a good carry or whatever, but just I think it's a good starting. Pokemon. You know what? Let's go to 3:30, right? Let's let's not stop at a five at the end. Let's go with a ten at the end. Do we have anyone with flying type attacks? We don't really, right? So, don't really care about staying long enough to steal the sharp beak. Anything? I really want thunder. Water Spout stays. It's so strong. Surf? But Water Spout only has 8 PP. Surf? Really strong. Can hit teammates, but just generally very useful. Ice Beam? More useful against what? Dragon. 
but even then, a water spout is just always better, right? Because it's basically up to like 300 damage or more. The stab boost gives, I think, half of it, so we would be at the 75, so uh, 225. Yeah. And then the rain gives it even more, plus 40% through the mystic water. I think overall we are it's stronger than Ice Beam. So let's say screw it. And since it's raining, Thunder will always hit unless they did implement that in this game, which I doubt, but you never know. I, I mean, then again, wh where would I ever really need Thunder? Against other water types, right? Other than that, Blind types? Gyarados? <laughs> I think Thunder is a decent... I think Thunder is a decent uh, attack to have. If we can get Psychic. If we ever find the Psychic TM. And I would, I would assume that Kyogre can learn it. Then I'll definitely go for that instead of Thunder. No questions asked. But I think for now Thunder is just good. I don't see a down, downside to it. Yeah, we don't have Ice Beam anymore, but I mean, this is a... Oh, wow, we actually did not kill here. Interesting. How about we bring the Thunder? But yeah, we, we even kill, like, Brass Taps. This, this one is frail, I get it. I, I don't think that we need Ice Beam. For strong Pokemon or Pokemon that actually really resist us, we just have Water Spout. Can we kill a uh, Kingdra with Water Spout and Kingdra quad resists water? So, I think we're good. I think we're good with what we have right now. Water Spout is just way too strong. In the best kind of way. Did I want to teach anyone anything? Nah. Give me something good. I don't want to reroll a whole lot. I mean, I rerolled, I think, around 50,000. That's more than I wanted to, but. Sure. Surf should do the trick, right? Definitely should do the trick. Protein increases attack. I mean. Since we're already here, you know. Might as well go for it, you know. Oh, I mean Relic Gold. I would have liked the Relic Gold more if we also had an Amulet coin, but hey, beggars and such, you know? Beggars can't be choosers. Sometimes they can. Someone goes up to them and is like, hey, you want the money or you want something to eat there? The answer should be both, or rather you should offer both, but you know what I mean. All right, and with this, Kofakrigus that just dies, we will end today's episode at 58 minutes. That is a good episode. 58 minutes. Wave 330. That's 130 waves in this one episode. This run will... Might. This one might go the difference. By the way, before we go... How about we gotch one more time? I mean, bunch of rares today, but... No legendary, sadly. I would like a Lugia. Alright, FO, why not go for a Lugia? Anyway, thank you nerds so much for watching. Just a quick reminder again, uh, this will be uploaded weekly. Currently it's every Wednesday. It might not be every Wednesday, but weekly upload. And everyone who's a member of the channel gets to see it early as soon as I upload it. Thank you nerds so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I got around. Bye bye!